Hey everybody, we do another video review by CigarFellas.com. Uh, my name is Brent. Um, today, um, it's a beautiful morning. Um, it's only about 9.45 and um, I was kind of thinking about what to get my day started with and um, I decided that um, today I would review um, the Hispaniola Tres Caraberas. Uh, these uh, cigars were sent to me um, by Hispaniola Cigars, and um, I'm really, I'm really intrigued to smoke this. Um, they sent me this wonderful little sheet along with it, it tells everything about this, and uh, this cigar actually has a Havano Oscuro wrapper, and uh, it uh, the flavors um, from what they describe are intense coffee and cocoa. So, being a coffee and cocoa flavored or uh, favor favorer that I am, I figured well, it sounds like a good match for my nice cup of coffee here. So I figured let's give it a shot. Let's see what this thing uh, can do. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing lit. I'm going to start smoking on it a little bit. It's starting to get a little warm out here. I want to get my jacket off. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So um, we went ahead and lit this thing up. And uh, we've been smoking through a little bit here. Um, you know, one thing I didn't cover um, was the construction of this before um, I lit it up. And I just want to say that uh, it's very well constructed. Um, the wrapper is is toothy, but uh, burn is just razor sharp on that. I wanted to point that out. I mean, that is like, I am outside and that thing is perfect. Um, the cap held together great. Um, I did cut it with Zycar. Um, I lit it with a match. Um, they claim a lot of coffee and uh, cocoa, and I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree to the point that um, the coffee and cocoa is so predominant that drinking it with coffee makes it a wonderful breakfast cigar. I would love to smoke one of these every morning <laughs> with, my, with my cup of coffee. Um, I am not... Um, Generally, like I said, it's like 9.30 in the morning here. Actually, it's probably a little bit after that now. It's 9.47 in the morning now. Um, generally, I'm at work. I got hurt this week. My ankle's uh, a little messed up, so the doctor ordered me a few days off. But so I'm using this time to get caught up with some reviews. But um, this cigar is different than almost anything else I've ever had. Um, and, and that's why I love these smaller boutiques. I'm telling you people, you need to get out there and experience these smaller boutiques. They are amazing. Um, we've all had the big manufacturers. Now, I'm not saying that they're not good. I love some of the big manufacturers. But you get into these smaller boutiques where these people are doing things that are just amazing. Um, the blenders here have, have put together such a great combination of flavor. It is so full, so rich, so amazing that uh, I, I really don't know what else to say. I mean, I, I think I said it all, so I'm going to try not to harp on it anymore. Retrohale, very smooth, yet sets off all the receptors in my nose in my nasal cavity all of them i mean when you retrohale you really start to fire these uh this cocoa this coffee this light wood um no real spice i mean it, if it is it's more like a uh just like a nice medium spice nothing that's like pow right in the kiss or anything like that the the mouth feel of this is really nice because it's not an oily wrapper so it absorbs the moisture off your lips so you feel like it's not like a real 
thick, heavy wrapper that's real dark and oily, it's the exact opposite, where it almost draws the, the uh, moisture off your lips to the point where it replaces it with that coffee kind of ambiance. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, to be honest with you. But uh, this is really turning out to be one heck of a cigar. I'm really looking forward to trying the other ones, but for right now, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this, enjoy my coffee. Let me go ahead and burn a little bit more of this, and uh, we'll be back with you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So, uh, still enjoying this uh, Espanol. And, uh, let me tell you, I, I say it a lot, but I'm blown away. And you know, let me explain a little bit about why I say things the way that I do. Because I went from a mainstream smoker, only the, the big brands, and, and they're all good. I mean, most of them are good. Um, there's a few that, you know, I'm like, eh, I could take them or leave them. But when I started deciding to get into these smaller boutiques, my whole smoking um, ideals changed. I realized that there are so many different complexities to flavors. Um, outside the realm of the mainstream smokes that that I almost almost um, predominantly smoke small boutique cigars now. Um, just amazing the, the things that these blenders have done and I know I've said all this before but I really I'm just trying to get my point to people that you know Put down those mainstream cigars and, and pick up those those unknowns, the, the the cigars that maybe you've never heard of, or you know, or maybe you see somebody else smoking one, you know, and and they really say, hey, I really enjoy that, and give it a shot. Uh, it's worth your time. I assure you, it's worth your time. These um these Hispaniolas are just amazing cigars. Um, The coffee and cocoa in this thing are just explosive. Um, especially, like I said, drinking it with my morning coffee. This is actually cup number two now. Uh, just complements perfectly. Um, the blend of my coffee, in case anybody's wondering, um, I use a Keurig. And um, this is the... Um, oh, what blend is this? <laughs> this is the um, shoot. Either way, it's a pretty. It's a, it's a medium coffee, a uh, caribou coffee. Thank you. Uh, it's a it's a medium blended coffee. Um, I use light sugar um, with a little bit of half and half, and uh, just just complemented this cigar like just perfectly. Um, burn on this got a little out of control and I think it was my fault um, from when I knocked my ash off um, I knocked it off a little prematurely and um, but uh, other than that I mean the wrapper held together nice nice and still pretty firm the draw on this cigar has been perfect since the beginning The aroma is very pleasant, um, it's almost a little sweet, but good sweet. Um, flavors are still, like I said, just completely popping. Um, my retrohale is, is uh, mellowed out a little bit. It's not quite as um, punchy. Um, it's always been smooth, but uh, now it's just really, really completely smooth.
just amazing. I mean, I'm getting lots and lots of coffee and cocoa, mild spices, um, a little bit of woodsy kind of flavor to it as well. Um, this is a Dominican um, cigar, and uh, it's 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 got to be one of the best Dominicans I've had in a while. Um, not to say that Dominicans are all good, because most of them are. I am a Dominican kind of guy, but um, this is just just perfect. The wrapper, like I said, is held together well. The cap is perfect condition. And all in all, I would highly recommend this cigar to anybody. This is the uh, Tres Carabelas uh, by Hispaniola. And um, look them up on uh, Google. You can find them, find out where you can pick them up in your area. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now because I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this beautiful morning with this wonderful cigar. You can follow us online at www.cigarfellas.com. You can follow us on Facebook at cigar, or I'm sorry, at facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. And you can follow me on Twitter at cigarfellas. Until next time, I'm Brent. All my friends call me Moose. We'll see you.